Yeah, well, we're halfway through October. Of course, it means everyone is gearing up for Halloween. That includes this guy. That is Scaredy Cat Eric, and it's no different <laughs> for the gang down at Houstonville Haunted House. I recently actually got the chance to check out the grounds, and I just wanted to, you know, kind of show you guys what's going on down there. Check it out. It's October here in the bluegrass, and that means a couple of things. Of course, the leaves changing colors, and also Halloween fast approaching. What a better way to celebrate than by going to a haunted house. We're out here in Houstonville. They're going on six years now. We've got Paul Gray to tell us about it. We're actually in the corn maze right now, and this is one of the few corn mazes where you go, it's dark, and you get some visitors to go to. That's it. Yeah, it's uh, it's we got an eight acre corn maze this year. Mm -hmm. um, everything is at night uh, here in the corn maze, so you see all kinds of creatures. You just um, you know in our <laughs> <laughs> and you do you do have some friends uh, behind us, and there's some of the some of the people that we could run into here in the corn maze. That's it. Yeah, you may uh, you don't know who you'll run into while you're out here. Mm -hmm. And there's several uh, several creatures. Mm -hmm. And the makeup uh, exquisite. I mean, I have to say, uh, pretty terrifying. Personally, I, I I'm a scared person, and uh, yeah, that's going to probably haunt me. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal, isn't it? That's what keeps you in visits. But you have a great property here. We're going on a couple acres, actually, of, of fun for people to come out and enjoy with the family. Yeah, we, uh, we're located on 10 acres. Uh, the corn maze itself is 8 acres. Uh, of course, we're located in uh, Danville now. We're two miles outside of uh, past Danville Walmart, mm -hmm. um, so we're no longer in Houstonville. So it makes it a closer drive for everybody to get here. Um, but, yeah, we've got uh, the 10 acres here, and yeah, we've got a lot of fun for everybody. And you mentioned uh, you're going on six years, two years at this location. How has this grown? You actually said you had your biggest opening weekend to date, so congratulations on that. And obviously that speaks volumes for what you and uh, your staff here do. Yeah, we've uh, we've had our biggest opening weekend uh, in history, and it's uh, it's been been awesome. Um, since we moved to our new location, um, our numbers have just went out mm -hmm. the roof, and so we're we're really blessed and, and, and excited to to have such a good turnout. And what's it like being in the business of scaring people? It has to be fun for not only the actors involved, but I mean you. It's rewarding too. It is. It's 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 a fun, unique uh, business. Uh, never really thought I'd get into any type of anything like this, but mm -hmm. uh, but it's been a fun venture, and uh, I enjoy doing it. Very cool. Well, we're going to head inside in a little bit. We're going to check out some of the 3D stuff going on. Uh, really uh, terrifying stuff going on here in Danville. And we're also going to find out how you're teaming up with the Kentucky Blood Center and see how coming out here and getting scared for a good cause, too. So that's coming up a little later in the broadcast. For now, we're going to send it back to the studio.